quick video on how to open up a Melee dishwasher. All you'll need for this is a T20 Torx bit and some kind of screwdriver or drill. This is the model G600SC, but there's a similar concept used across all Melee dishwashers. So open the door and in the roof of the machine there's two screws just holding the plastic lid down. Uh, so just remove those and that plastic lid should pop straight off. So pull those out. And then remove the lid. The next screws we want to find are in the left and right hand side panels, just at the front, one at the top, one at the bottom. There's also a screw at the back, at the very bottom of the machine, on both left and right hand sides. Moving on to the side panel, all we need to do is take a small screwdriver and leverage it against that side panel. Pull that open and it should pop straight off. So lift that panel up and out and you've got access to the left side of the machine. You've got your reed switch there, your dispenser as well as your valves. This is handy to know because valves on Miele dishwashers are notorious for leaking. Easy enough to change, all you need to do is get access to them and they literally twist out. So if you've got an issue where you're anti-flood stripping, it might be a good idea just to check this before you call out Miele for an expensive repair. So on the left side, you've got your dispenser, your reed switch and your valves. Like I said, really handy to know that your valves are down here. If they are leaking and you are getting an anti-flood, that's the first place to check. On the left side, you've got access to your heater. You can test your heater through here pretty easily just by getting your multimeter probes in there. You've also got a better look at the base. So if you are getting water building up inside that, this is the ideal place to look just to see if it's building up. But like I say, if you are getting any anti-flood error, nine times out of 10, it's the valves that are giving you the issue. But that's how you open it up, pretty simple. If you do need to change any components, lay the machine on its left side, remove the base, and then you get a lot more room to start removing things. But if you just wanted to check what's in the base or if you've got something leaking, this is the ideal way to do it. 